Well, so let's do another test here. Uh, I have my uh, passive load, my Mac light with the light bulb in it. And I want to test how the performance uh, decreases when it uses the power in the batteries. So I put the flashlight onto my milling vise here in my milling machine and I taped uh, a locks meter to my lathe over there. And we'll just let it run until it dies and then at fixed intervals I'll go and read uh, the locks output uh, on the meter and I'll note it down. And we'll do that both without and with the batterizers, with uh, new batteries for each run. So now I'll go and put some fresh batteries in it so we're sure that they are straight out of the pack. And then I'll start the timer and I'll start uh, noting down the locks value, say with uh, 15 minutes increments. So I focused the flashlight into a tight beam before I changed the batteries. And now I put the new batteries in and uh, I will use a watch over here as a timer so when I turn on the flashlight I will start the timer at the same time so I'll put this in and I'll I'll just remember how I align it so the, the tail on the light is pointing upwards and we get two and a half thousand locks on that point there. And now we'll just wait. I'll note it down every 15 minutes. And this is uh, without the batterizer, as you saw. And of course, I'll uh, turn off the lights in the room when I uh, do the measurement. So we're ready for the first measurement here, which is uh, uh, 2,404. 40, let's call it. So here after 15 minutes of runtime on the flashlight, we're down to 1870 lux, which is actually already down to three quarters of the light output that we got when the batteries were fresh. So we are losing some light. And so here at 60 minutes, we're roughly down to half of the light output. We started at uh, 2440 and now we're down to 1200. So here at 3 hours and 45 minutes we are down to uh, 382 lux when I turn off the lights. And you would basically have thrown out the batteries by now. Uh, because it's so dim that you can't really see anything. So I'll at least let it run for another 15 minutes so that we get to the 4 hour mark. And then I'll uh, I'll do the same test with the batterizer. I don't think there's any reason to continue any further since you you can't really use the light anyway. So I got the battery straight out of the flashlight here. After four hours, it was down to 260 locks, I think it was, and almost uh, completely off. And uh, the battery has recovered since I turned it off. It's been about a minute, but you can see it's up to 1.15 volt open circuit but it would have been very low when it was in the flashlight so now we should be able to uh, put some batterizers on it put it back in the flashlight and it should be back to full power until the last bit of energy is used of course let's do that so i put batterizers onto both batteries you can't see that but you can take my word for it and let's see, it's very hard to close it when it's all uh, filled up by those batterizers. I'll put it back in the same orientation. And sure enough, we do get more light out of it. Not full brightness, but uh, 1400 lux. But you can see it's dropping very fast. This is real time. <laughs> so it's been uh, 2 minutes and 15 seconds now and you can see it's just dropping. It dropped out there, you see. Now it's it's simply dead. 
and those batteries were at 1.15 volts each <laughs> but you get free Morse code <laughs> built into your old uh, light bulb flashlight <laughs> that's kinda cool but not very useful <laughs> So now comes the same test with fresh batteries uh, in the batteries this time. If I can get them out of the pack. So if it lives up to what they claim, it should deliver the full brightness uh, until the flashlight switches off. And it should only be slightly less time than with the, without the battery rises. They just, as you can see, they barely fit in here, but it's working. Where did I put the plug? So I'll start uh, my timer watch again when I get this screwed on. Oh, it looks like I may have bumped the focus a little bit here. Oh, let's turn it on. Put it back in the fixture. So I think it's pretty much similar to what we had before. We got the 2400 locks when we begin, so I'll note that down. So it is dropping a little bit as you can see, uh, as you would expect, because it only starts to regulate once the battery drops below uh, 1.5 volts. Or whatever. Um, it seems like it depends a little bit on the current. But we will come back after 15 minutes and we'll compare it to what it was like without the batteryizer. And here uh, with the batteryizer after 15 minutes we're down to uh, 175 times 10. And we can compare that to uh, 1000. 870 without the bad riser and you can see we're still dropping a little bit but uh, we'll probably stabilize at some point where it will uh, be greater than without the bad riser for some time until it drops out and also I might not have focused the light entirely the same spot as I did without the bad riser so so actually I just wonder what happened there. Maybe the boost converter just kicked in because it jumped up to uh, 2000 again. I was just about to say that it might be that the light is not focused in exactly the same uh, spot uh, with this setup as it was without the batteryizer. But we should uh, see the difference in the graph anyway. Uh, even though we started at the same value and it kind of dropped uh, like the other one and now we we got a little kick upwards again and we're back to about 2000 let's see if this uh, if it keeps staying at 2000 so we are at uh, 2 hours and 18 minutes and as you can see we're down to uh, 800 lux we're dropping pretty fast now so I think it's going to cut out very soon And here we go. And there we go. It basically started to drop out. So it started uh, flashing now as you see. Uh, let's call that 2 hours 20 minutes. So I took the numbers from the flashlight tests and I put them into this graph here. Uh, the blue line shows the test without the batteryizer and the orange one with the batteryizer. As you might remember, we had this sudden jump. I think that's where the boost converter kicked in, but not sure about that. Then we get a, a funny drop here, and it it drops out after 100 and 
40 minutes. We can see that it is uh, significantly brighter, but again, it doesn't last that long. According to the claims, it should have been like a straight line going all the way to the 140 minute or whatever mark and then drop straight down. But it is a linear decrease, as you can see, until we get to this point. So they do not maintain a constant output voltage of uh, 1.5 volts as they they claim. They claim in the letter that it should operate at maximum performance uh, until it cuts out and it clearly does do that.